Hey guys, um, I just got up, um, I stayed up till about 4 in the morning last night, and it's about 1 o'clock now. I, I had my sleeping schedule going pretty good there for a couple of weeks. <coughs> Excuse me, um, but yeah, that didn't last too long. And tonight's gonna not I can't talk. Tonight's not gonna help either because um Tony is doing a live show tonight from um Eastern State Penitentiary and um that's probably gonna be an all night thing. Although I can't stay up too late tonight because I have to be up at like five thirty, six o'clock in the morning. Excuse me for tomorrow because um, I'm going up to St. Pete for a, um, a women's conference and I'm meeting a friend of mine at like 7.15 in the morning down in Sarasota <clears throat> so yeah anyway um, that's gonna be interesting hopefully Tony will record the whole live event so that I can rewatch it later on but um yeah Hey guys, so um, it's about 11, 11.30 and I should have gone to bed like an hour and a half ago, but um, Tony was do from um, Black Box TV was doing a, um, a live stream at um, Eastern State Penitentiary, um, which was interesting, and I was doing a Skype call with some of my friends. Oh, sorry, um, but like I said, I should have gone to bed like an hour and a half ago because because I need to be up at 6, but, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. I'll get this uploaded tomorrow. So, um, I'm gonna go, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys, so it's about... It's 6.53 in the morning. I haven't actually been, like, gotten up at 6 o'clock in the morning in a couple of years. <laughs> If I've, if I've been up at 6 or 7 in the morning, it's because I stayed up all night. So I'm, and plus I went to bed at midnight, so I'm going on like 6 hours of sleep right now. Even less than that because I kept waking up for whatever reason, so yeah. Anyway, um, today I'm meeting some people from church and we're going up to St. Pete for this women's conference um i'm actually running a couple of minutes late so hopefully i won't miss them so because i'm car I'm, I'm meeting up with them at a mcdonald's or something like right off of 75 because i'm carpooling with them up to uh, up to st pete because i'm terrible with directions plus i don't want to want to spend the gas and stuff so, um, that's what I'm doing and stuff and things, so, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record much of it because, um, yeah, I don't know. Most of, most people that I know IRL really don't know that I do YouTube, um, or vlogs, like, and I have to explain it and stuff, and it's just a pain. Um, but I'll, I'll kind of try and bring it up and talk to them about it. I don't think, yeah, I'll try and talk to them about it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now is driving up to there, and hopefully it won't be late. Hey, guys, so um, it's about 12.15 right now, and... um. We've had a couple of speakers already, and what they've talked about has been really interesting. Um, I don't necessarily agree, agree with a lot, of, a lot of what was said, but um, it's definitely something that I am going to be thinking about, and I'm challenged by what has been said so far, so yeah, anyway, I'll talk more about it later, so I'm going to go for the moment because people are starting to, supposed to start to come back in, but um, like I said, I'll talk about it more later.
that's not gonna work. Hey guys, um, so I am finally heading home. It's about 5.15 now. Um, and, um, the, the, um, conference was interesting. Um, you have something on the lens there. Um, it was really interesting. Um, I did learn a lot about the Catholic faith through this whole thing, but, um, um, there was a, like, the second speaker, I can't remember what her name is now, but, um, one of the main things she talked about was, um, the sanctity of marriage and, and stuff, and, um, a lot of, like, she, her opinion, of course, was that gays shouldn't marry and yada yada yada, but, um, her logic for, like, her reasoning behind it didn't make any sense, like, at all, and, um, my sponsor and I and the two other ladies that I went with, um, we were, we had talked about it for a little bit on the way back, and, um, we, I mean, we all agreed that, um, her reasoning behind why, um, gay, like, a gay couple shouldn't get married and whatnot, like, it didn't make any sense. And, um, she was also going into why... Um, if you have a child, how that child needs a bo both a mother and a father, not just, like, like you can't have a same-sex parents, like, it, it, her entire logic did not make any sense whatsoever, and I mean, I'm gonna write her an e I'm, I have her name written down, but I'm gonna write her an email and challenge her points of view and back them up and stuff. Um, like, I know a couple of people that were raised by same-sex same couples, and they're perfectly normal, to be honest. Um... I can't really say anything other than the fact that they're pretty damn normal. Um, so, I don't know. Anyway, um, I shouldn't be complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating my opinion, and yeah. Um, it was interesting. I had a good time, other than that little segment where I was, like, shaking my head the whole time. And, um, yeah, anyway, um... Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> As you walk away with the toy. Oh. <laughs> I got this awesome postcard from Brazil today. Um, I know I've mentioned mentioned it in the past, but um, I'm part of a website called postcrossing.com where you can send and receive postcards from all over the world. It's really cool.